is a beautiful little airplane you've got here. What's this called? Well, this this aircraft is what left uh, the factory as a Piper Sport. Uh, prior to the Piper Sport uh, being introduced, it was uh, known as a Sport Cruiser, and it is again known as a Sport Cruiser. This particular uh, aircraft happens to be uh, a Piper Sport, which was marketed by Piper for Czech Sport Aircraft, the manufacturer, for about a year. And it worked out well, except the two companies had some uh, different philosophies in marketing. And so about after a year, they uh, decided to dissolve their relationship. And the airplanes then became known, again, as sport cruisers. Uh, but this particular one is a Piper Sport. They're very, very similar. And sport cruisers are still being uh, manufactured in the Czech Republic, as were all the sport cruisers and Piper Sports. Now, how did you become involved with the aircraft then? Uh, I received a phone call from Piper Aircraft Corporation about two years ago and said we, uh, they said, Eric, we're going to be marketing a new aircraft, a new light sport aircraft. Are you interested in taking on that for the Rocky Mountain region? And I said, I don't know. Uh, I'll need to uh, do some homework and I'll let you know. And they said, fine, let us know. So this airplane though is one of the leaders as far as sales go in the uh, light sport aircraft market. That's correct. And in, in the year that we introduced the Piper Sport, uh, it uh, had tremendous sales. And even though we got a late start in 2010, uh, we we still outsold uh, the rest of the light sport uh, aircraft in the, so, in the United States. So it's been well accepted into uh, the area as far as uh, light sport aircraft go? It, it has. In the Rocky Mountain region, uh, light sport is catching on, but over the years, uh, people have the misimpression that uh, light sport aircraft would not perform well at our higher density altitudes. People are starting to realize now that that's, uh, aircraft performance up here at our density altitudes is, and a light sport is no different than uh, the other aircraft. It's actually probably better because of the fact that you've got technology and uh, aircraft designs and so forth that are new, that they're using today's uh, technologies rather than something that was based 30, 40 years ago. Right, and the light sport aircraft, of course, are lighter weight airplanes, and yet they're using similar horsepower to some of the uh, more heavy uh, Park 23 airplanes that have been flying out here for decades. So we have, we have a better power to weight ratio. What are you powering this airplane with? This is a Rotax 912 ULS, uh, 100 horsepower, four stroke, four cylinder, horizontally opposed uh, engine. It's a very popular uh, power plant for probably 90% of the of the light sport fleet. It's a very desirable engine and that's why it's so popular. Uh, have you got service facilities and so on and so forth to look after the Rotax? Most of the people who would be, you know, like homies and Connellos would know that. But right. Rotax being, I guess, sort of a different engine, uh, are you offering the service that's going to require? Yes, we are. We, we're, we're very experienced in Lycoming and Continentals also, but we are a, uh, an authorized and trained Rotax repair center. So uh, our customers can come to us for all the uh, Rotax uh, service and maintenance needs. Now, what else do you offer to the public as far as the light sport aircraft industry goes? Well, we are we are in sales and service, so we're here to uh, promote the aircraft, uh, deliver the airplane uh, to the customer, and then uh, take care of his warranty and service needs as necessary after the fact. We, we, we are at, uh, not in the flight training business, uh, so we're sales and service. Now, are you a, a distributor for the aircraft, or just a sales agent for them? Or? No, we are. A, we are. When, when Piper was involved, we were known as distributors, uh, even though we're really dealers. And so now we refer to ourselves as dealers. So uh, the dealers have geographical areas that were positioned geographically favorable to the customer's uh, needs. Now, my understanding is that they have a very unique, or the checks people have a very unique way of selling their airplane. They have some sort of a uh, thing called the sports share program? Yes, it's uh, something new and quite innovative. Um, it's, it's a means to uh, allow pilots to be uh, involved in a fractional ownership of a new sport cruiser. And it's done uh, in an unusual way in that uh, the manufacturer is actually involved in the partnership for a uh, certain length of time. 
and it's meant for up to five partners. Uh, and up until the fifth partner comes along, the factory is one of the partners. So it's kind of an interesting uh, new concept. And the advantage, I guess, of that is that if you wanted to sell your share later on, really you haven't rented or anything else, you've right. got something here that is worth selling. Right, and with, with five owners, your share it would be more easily sold, too, because it would be uh, more attractive to the buyer. Now, the Sport Cruiser, what type of construction do you use there? Well, Sport Cruiser is uh, an all-metal aircraft. It's conventional construction with uh, aluminum. Uh, and it's uh, easily repaired in the field if necessary, if something were to be damaged. Oh, this looks like it'd be a great little cross-country airplane. Got a lot of storage area behind the seat there. It is. It's, uh, it's a very flexible airplane. Uh, we have uh, three baggage compartments, two large fuel tanks in the wings, and a, and a very spacious, comfortable cabin. Uh, but it, it's also nice for cross-country flight in that it's uh, a relatively, it's a, it's a good performer. Uh, it burns very little fuel in cruise flight, and as we know, the, the light sport maximum cruise speed is 120 knots. This aircraft will will fly at 120 knots under the right conditions. Normally, I normally fly at about 113, 114 knots. What kind of fall does it have? Well, the aircraft has Fowler flaps on it and a, a great wing design. So the stall speed uh, with flaps extended is uh, 32 knots. So it's uh, it's very uh, it's, it's 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 a low stall speed. And in the stall, if you were doing a stall series with, with the airplane, it's very docile. Uh, it's it's almost like uh, people have stalled a Piper Cherokee. It's it's uh, very very similar. Great it aileron control. It mushes and really doesn't break, and then correct. It mushes and doesn't break, and you have great aileron control even at the onset of the stall. What type of facility do you have for sales and service of these aircraft? Uh, Fox Aerosport Incorporated is uh, located on Parkland Airport near Erie, Colorado, which is uh, northwest of Denver, uh, near Boulder. And we have a 5,000 square foot uh, hangar and office facilities there. Uh, it's, it serves as our showroom and our maintenance facility as well. So on any given day, you might find uh, one or two aircraft in there undergoing general servicing or inspections. And we specialize in, in light sport aircraft. Uh, so uh, that would be 90% of the aircraft you'd see in there. So if somebody wanted to get in touch with you, get a little more information, where would they go? They would contact us at uh, foxaerosport.com. All, all of our contact information and a map showing our location is right on the website under the contact tab, foxaerosport.com. Thank you very much for your time. Thanks, Dave.